It's a warm October day and got the cages wrapped up because we've been having some cold fronts come through lately, but got the vents open and the fans blowing to keep them from getting too hot. There's Shelton. Are you hungry, Shelton? I got food coming to you shortly, buddy. Give me just a second, okay? Let me grab you some food. All right, buddy. Let's see here. I know you want some nice lettuce, right? Here we go, buddy. You gonna stomp all over it to come say hello? Huh? No, don't walk on it. <laughs> come on, Shelton. There you go, buddy. I'm gonna go take care of the other guys real quick, alright? I'll come back and check on you. Alright, entering the hallway here to the cages. Gonna get a little vegetation over to our bigger dragons. Hey guys. Oh, didn't eat your tortoise diet today. Huh? How you guys doing, huh? Just relaxing? Your heat lamp will turn on in just about an hour. You guys are gonna like that. I don't have the heat, the UV lamps on all the time because the sun shines, but here in about an hour that'll kick on and they'll run over to that spot. But that's the bearded dragons. We'll move on over to Bruce and see. Hey Bruce, how you doing buddy? He's not too fond of the camera. Got you some food, buddy. You want a little bit of food? Huh? I know it's not tortoise diet, so it's not your favorite, but here you go. Come on over here and get some. Come on. Come get some. You just want some loving? Okay, I'll give you a little loving instead. There you go, buddy. Now come over here and get you some food. Come on. I'll talk to you later, Bruce. All right, moving on to the Lewis, uh, or excuse me, the Cubans. Let's see, any of the Cubans out? Nope. They're probably up high where they can get some sun above the vent. So I'm just gonna leave them a little bit of food. Let them down here in a little while and get some. So, there we go. You guys up there somewhere? Probably up top there. They always get up in that top corner and hide in the sun. Or bask in the sun and hide up there where I can't see them. All my hibiscus so I can give them treats every once in a while. They love those flowers when they bloom. Gonna move on over here to the rhinos. Hey Thor. How you doing over there buddy? Huh? Camera's not focusing. Hi, little girl. Look at you, you're shedding. I can see your blues. Hi, Thor. When are you gonna shed? I see you're getting all dark. You're normally blue. See, you left a surprise up there, huh? Yeah, I see a surprise back there. I can get that cleaned up here in a minute. I'm gonna get you some food first, all right? All right, buddy. I'm gonna set it right back here, but I gotta get you a little surprise. Let me pause for just a moment. He left us a surprise and get that cleaned up. All right, buddy. Yeah, here you go. Little girl, you want some food? I'm gonna get you set up here in just a second. Let me clean up this mess he made. All right, little girl, I'm gonna come over here and get you set up. I cleaned up Bruce's, or excuse me, Thor's little mess. Keep on going. Let's get over here and get you some fresh food. Oh, you're shedding, huh? Yeah. You are so pretty underneath. All right. Let's get you set up. Come on, Mama. Come get you some food. There you go. You got some fresh food there. It's not y'all's favorite tortoise diet, I know, but you got to eat vegetation too. They're never excited when I'm bringing them vegetation. It's always tortoise diets, their favorite. But, um... Right now, Cleopatra, 
Here you go, Mama. You want some some vegetation? It's good stuff there. I know it's not tourist diet, but you gotta have it. Yes, you do. Look at you, you're shedding. Let me get that off your eye. There you go, Mama. Oh. You can see some of your green. She gets more green, the other two get more blue. But her spines get a nice pretty green when she's just shed. She's a good girl. All right, let's pause and get in there and take care of one of the reds. I see his tail. How you doing, Jack? Huh? He is a false red, so he's more orange. Gets a pretty red when um, mating scenes around, but since he's just a false red, he did lose all the green on his belly, but oh, don't be so mean. He's a little grumpy. He's a little grumpy, yes you are. I know. But uh, he's doing good. He lost his tail back when he was young, unfortunately, but it's grown back pretty nice. All right, but I'm gonna get you fed, set up with some food, okay? A couple of my spiny tails. Hi, Houdini. How you doing, Mama? Huh? How you doing, baby? How you doing? Yeah, you're getting chunky. Look at you. Oh, you're getting ready to shed too. She has more of an orange color on her when she sheds. But she's a nice girl. And this is Flaquita here. She was real skinny when we got her. She's not anymore. She's not one of my tame ones. She doesn't really care for me to... Look. She'll jump and run, as you can see. She prefers I not touch her, so normally I don't bother her. I'm sorry, Flaquita. Go on. Go find your place to lay down. Go on. Crawl back up. There you go. Get up in your spot. I'll leave you alone. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'll leave you alone. I'm going to get you some food, okay? We'll get their food set up over here for them. Here's one of my other spiny tails. This is Lila. Lila's a good girl. You left a surprise over there too, huh, Lila? All right, well, I got a surprise for you. I got some fresh lettuce. You want the fresh lettuce? There you go, Mama. Oh, yeah, she's one of my tame ones. Lila and Houdini, she's shedding. Lila will sometimes run and jump on my shoulders and walk around with me as I'm going through the cages. The other iguanas leave her alone as long as she's with me. And there is Turbo. That is our male. He's a beautiful guy. Let me turn sideways just for a minute. That might have made everyone go crazy. Let's go back. Um, he is a beautiful male, but he's not tame. Uh, we actually caught him in the wild when we were visiting Florida. And uh, he um, never really tamed down. So he lets me look at him every once in a while. He eats out of my hands. But most of the time, it's leave me alone. So I try to respect that. Okay, and here is one of my tegus. He's probably in here taking a nap. He will come out in the mornings and the evenings when his UV light is on. And he can come out. What's up, buddy? You sleeping in the grass? Huh? You sleeping in the grass? Oh, he's shedding. Always shedding. There you go, buddy. This is Zeus. He's all dirty, playing, laying in the grass. But that's all right. Let me cover you back up with grass. How about that, huh, buddy? Yeah. There we go. Take a little bit of that skin off him. He's a, a high white. You can see in his head here, in his jaws. But otherwise, he's real dirty. He's shedding, too, so you can't really see too well. But I'll leave him alone. He's relaxing in his grass bin. All right, now we are in my Lewis size cage. Let's see if I can find Blueberry. Hi, Blueberry. How you doing, Mama? Can't see any blue on her because of the. I'm in the shadows, but when she's out in the sun, she is really blue. She's my little sweetheart. This is her hammock. I made all this stuff because she likes to climb all over this corner and she would get up on this air vent and uh, slide around so I put that up there. This is her favorite basking spot over here. Um, Pleo's over here. Hey Pleo. He's shedding underneath his dark coloration. He's very blue. 
but uh, they go through their periods. He's more blue during breeding season. They have a little divider in their wall just to give them privacy. Sometimes the females actually will argue with each other. Here's another female. This is Asul. They're all young. They just turned three, but they're doing really well. I can see in these cages I have everything wrapped in plastic, but I also have misters that are constantly spraying. Let's see if I can get a view of it here. So they can come down to their moist areas. This is where they come to get humid. They'll come and lay in that humidity, normally the sun shining right on it. Um, there's another one spraying right over here over this banana tree. And they'll come lay in this area when the sun's shining. But uh, this is the little side cages. I'm going to get them a little bit of food and we'll move on to the red iguanas. All right, leaving the Lewis size, coming over here to uh, the red iguanas. Let's see here. Bree is probably in her box. And there is Stubbs over there. Actually, you know, I was calling the other red iguanas Jack, and that was Stubbs, and this one is Jack. So I got their names mixed up. I do that sometimes, but he's up there. What are you doing? You're folding your your uh, spines. Come on, let me see your spines. There you go. There's the spines. He's just hiding up there. He don't want to be bothered. But he's a beautiful red. He's got his moment. Sometimes he's calm and comes right over and lets me pet him. Sometimes he's like this where he's just getting some sun through the plastic and doesn't want to be bothered. They like to lay up on this vent. This is my heating system for the winter. Right now I'm just blowing regular air through it but uh, it's set up so if it gets below 70 degrees at any time it just kicks on so Bree is in her that's supposed to be just her egg laying box but she likes to lay in there all the time but uh, again their UVB lights will come on uh, here in about an hour when the sun's come you know further down and casting more shadows in the cage but this is their setup in here I got plenty of room now I'm going to pause and then move on into the other tegu cages. Alright, moving on into the other tegu cages. There's one of mine. Hey Athena, how you doing? She is a uh, high white, but she right now she's about to shed, so I can see she's more gold looking. But um, Zeus is probably up underneath his hide. I've tried all kinds of substrates for them and they seem to love the fresh cut grass. Of course it doesn't look so fresh right now because I've got to cut the grass later today and dump some fresh grass in there but I normally pull that out and put fresh grass about every week and they love to just hide up inside there more than they do any other substrate so that's what I give them. Because over here they have a, a substrate box of all uh, a mixture of sand and uh, 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 spirulium moss but they prefer the grass so that's what i give them most of the time but that is athena and over here is one of my small tubs let's see i i kept a i held back a female she's probably buried in her substrate let's see no where's she going maybe she's under her log there she is hi mama how you doing baby huh let me get her out so we can get a closer look at her. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Her name is Greenie. It was going to be Aphrodite. But we went with Greenie because she was actually a um, runt. And really bright green almost i mean her half her body all the way to her head where the other ones just had a little bit of green and she was the smallest you know she was a runt and um, i actually had to uh hand feed her with a syringe for the first two weeks she's shedding and uh once i got her up nice and healthy she actually outgrew the rest of them so i thought she was unique she's got a nice red belly she is very dull because she's about to shed. This girl sheds, it seems like, every week. But she loves her spirulium moss. I tried the grass. She didn't like it. The adults like the grass, but she loves spirulium moss. But she's a beautiful little girl. 
One last look at Asul. Asul, hi mama. How you doing? Out of my little size, Asul does not care for me to pet her or touch her. She allows me to look at her, that's it. Pleo, hiding him back there. He has his moments, just like uh, Jack. Sometimes he lets me pet, and sometimes he's not in the mood. But Blueberry back in that corner over there, she is always, always friendly. But uh, that's one last look at the cages. As you see, I got barriers down low so they can't see each other. Uh, they can get up high if they choose to. Um, there's one of my rhinos climbing back up to her favorite spot. But even though they have ramps that get them all the way up where they need to go, they like to climb the screen up to the top. But that's it. That's the animals that we have here in the outside enclosure.